I see you guys eyeing those Pokeballs. But we got Brilliant Stars to open up. Squirtle! Alrighty, so I have the Brilliant Stars ETB here. And I also have four uh, booster sleeves that goes along with my ETB openings. I'm actually pretty excited for opening Brilliant Star the Brilliant Stars one just because there's actually quite a bit of cards I actually need from Brilliant Stars. Uh, I could use more Arceus's. <laughs> um, I'm still gonna probably play an Arceus deck when um, post, when the post uh, rotation comes in. Um, maybe potentially uh, making a Duel Duelodon deck, because I kinda actually really like that deck. I've been playing that deck on um, TCG Live, and um, it's been really fun. It's, it's kind of, it's kind of interesting, um, kind of ruining everyone's um, game plan, so... <laughs> Some people don't really like to do du a du on deck, but I don't know, I kind of enjoyed it. So we have, from what, I, from what I've seen from the previous um, ETBs, we have the book here that shows all the cards. Let me move this real quick, sorry about that. And I know you guys probably don't like really like seeing this part of the video where I'm just showing every card that you can get here. But, um, I forgot what other alt art besides the Charizard is supposed to be in this one, so I kind of want to take a quick look real quick. So I know there's an Arceus, okay, I know there's an alt art Arceus here. Uh, Luminion Lumin also, um, is that it? I guess it's a Huntcrow V. Yeah, and then a whole bunch of trainer galleries that I would really like as well. I remember I actually pulled Sylveon V, <laughs> or VMAX twice, the trainer galley version. So, um... I, I don't want another one, so at least give me the other Sylveon V train to gallery. That would be pretty nice. I'll put this over here real quick. And let's open this up. Yep, we have everything here. Um, the dices. The um, damage, or I say the status ones. And then V-Star. And all the other goodie stuff that I need. Let's get the packs out here. All right, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice. Okay, that checks out. Um, I always like to count them just be, just in case you know they could have miscounted and uh, given me less. I've actually seen like I maybe like one video where they actually didn't get the right amount. So um, hopefully that's not me or you guys. So <laughs> let's start opening here. Um, just because I feel like I might want to open. Uh, those Pokeballs that I bought today as well from Sam's Club. Uh, I'm gonna skip doing the uh, card trick here and... Oh, that... Okay, that card... Or code card is kind of reversed, so... Um, that's weird. Okay, well, I'm just gonna keep going here. I have... Uh, Starly, exec Execute, Trap Hinch, Gibble, Breezo. Oh, look at that! It's a really cool reverse hollow Ultra Ball, which is very useful. In today's meta as well. And we got a Flygon, not hollow, which follows the code card. Okay, let's get to the next pack here. Um, but yeah, I was continuing to that. I went, I went, um, kind of like, I want to say grocery shopping. Oh, it is kind of bad. Uh, hmm. All right. Um, I, I guess, I guess, uh, this, at least this ETB has it backwards, so I can't really say much about that. But I uh, went to Sam's Club just to get some food for, um, you know, to um, take food, like, get food for work, and I guess for here too. And, um, squirtle, squirtle. Ooh, look at that, it's Amazenta V, nice. That's cool as well. Um, I, didn't, I actually didn't know, Zom I thought Zamazenta V would be like in the base set or something, but I guess not. It would be in here too. But um, that's my first hit there, so I'm going to get the sleeves real quick. Yeah, um, went to Sam's Club, um, saw that they had the Pokeball uh, tins still, um, I could have really gotten it any time really, um, I knew they were there at my Sam's Club for $30, and, um, could have made like a video of, out of it, but I, I don't know, I don't really like what's in there besides Evolving Skies, and even Evolving Skies has been kinda meh to me, just because uh, I mean, yeah, you can get good hits in there, but like, in my mentality, I'm not, I'm about to go for kind of the, like, the, okay, well, I got a bad coke right there too, 
kind of go for like the low risk type of packs with the training galleries because I really like getting the training galleries as well. And because of that, I tend to go for like the newer packs that I have here. Oh, I actually need the double double turbo energy, so that's one there that I need for my deck. So yeah, like I said, I've been I've been going for um more of the newer packs. I knew I know a lot of people are really trying to get um evolving skies, um, chilling rain, even battle styles probably because they have like really cool alt arts in there. But um I don't know. I don't sometimes I don't believe my in my luck. I mean, I'll pull when I have it, but squirtle, squirtle. Look at that. We got the Dene. I don't think I have this trainer guy really. Yet. That's pretty cool. Wow. The Dene and a Torterra rare, hollow rare. Cool. And that was a black coat card there. You know, I, I had a second thought saying that maybe I should buy like more, maybe like two of them or something like that. But then I was like, nah, it's fine. I'll just buy one. I only actually really need the Ultra Ball for my collection because uh, I have all the other um, Pokeball tins already. So, um, well, not not all of them. I still need a few, but I don't think they're readily available right now. We got the Grand Ball V. Nice. Look at that. Cool. And we got another hit there. So, see, uh, is it even in? Actually, I only got like one training gallery. But I'm um, also getting some Vs. So, that's a, this is pretty cool too, as well. My V binder is actually really big right now. But yeah, um, I've seen people who are getting like the Evolving Skies um, packs and stuff from like grocery stores as well. I can probably try and find Evolving Skies for $4 at my stores. I think I just saw something shiny in here, guys. Um, okay, here's a cold card there for you guys. Um, all right, we'll just, we'll just go for it. We got Gibble, Chimeco, Electrobuzz, Bidoof, Sneasel. Okay, guys. Oh, it might be just be a V-Star, but uh, we got Heatran and... Squirtle, Squirtle. Oh, shoot! We got Arceus V-Star, Rainbow Rare. Wow, that's pretty cool. Oh, wow. Um, Okay, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> but yeah, it looks nice. I... I I think I really get like rainbow rares, but uh, when I do, I always like, I don't know. I know a lot of people are kind of like meh about them, but the Arceus one looks pretty good. Look at that. No, I, I, I never really had a bad experience with Brilliant Stars. Brilliant Stars always been nice to me. Um, like I said, I got like those two. I got two. Um, okay, that was a bad gold card. I got two um, bad. Uh, oh, not too bad. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know. I'm, I'm just kind of like talking at this point, but. Um, I had like two um, Sylveon V, V Max trainer galleries, so would have liked something else, but um, that's um, this ETB isn't, isn't too bad. Oh shoot! I kind of just whip that apart, <laughs> whip that open. So put that on the side there, and I think I see something else shiny again, guys. Okay, maybe not. Um, unless it's a, unless it's a trainer gallery, so we'll see. We got Golurk, Impidimp, Shinx, uh, Mercury. Purloin, cast form, electrovire, and that's all, I guess. Um, I thought it was, I thought I saw something shiny, but you know, sometimes my imagination plays tricks on me. Let's see what I can get from the four sleeve packs here. I got these um, for four bucks from <clears throat> Best Buy, so um, Best Buy actually had them sold out for a while, so I noticed it was pretty hard to find um, Brilliant Stars packs, or at least the singles. Cause I wanted to buy like four singles for this video, and um, for a long time I couldn't, I wasn't able to find them for some reason. And then I, I noticed everyone was kind of like buying Brilliant Stars all of a sudden, cause I guess like uh, Pokemon isn't really focused on making any more, um, any um, any more prints for a while. Maybe um, I guess they're more focused on Scarlet and Violet, which is, I mean. It's, it's possible, but uh, oh look, a boss's order. Cool. Yeah, I guess they were like I said, they're kind of focused on Scarlet and Violet, I guess. So they kind of have like stopped making other packs, other um, packs for now, maybe. Um, I'm sure people, I'm sure they're coming back a little more because Best Buy put them back out, and I just like decided to just um, snatch four of them at least, just so I can do add it to this opening of Brilliant Stars. And I feel like, um, oh wow, there's another good one. So this one is not really my luck. It's just me ch like buying it from Best Buy and letting them choose my packs. But 
either way, this is um another fun way to experiment with the ETBs and um, the singles here. We got Raikou V. That's cool. Look at that. I like Raikou. Raikou's cool. Well, okay, well, going back to uh, Brilliant Stars here. I don't. I didn't really. I didn't really focus on the packs. I mean, I'll look at back and look at back in the video. <laughs> but um, yeah. Um, I always, always like looking at these arts as well, on the, even on the packs. So um, that'll be pretty cool here. We got the code card there. I'm not gonna look at the back because I I keep looking in the back for some more reason. Shinx, Farfetch, Execute, Grimer, Clefairy. Axew, and we got a Breloom, Hollow Rare, no, not a double energy, nice. Yeah, so Brilliant Star was kind of out for a while, and then, oh, uh, I guess, oh, it's not just Brilliant Star, it's all, all the packs, I feel, were going up in price, because they weren't really stocking that many of the modern cards, or at least the modern, Sword and Shield cards, as much, so, pretty much everything kind of ran up, um, Maybe, um, maybe we'll start getting more, um, more stock in the future, uh, once Scarlet Violet comes out. Or maybe they might focus on Scarlet Violet, so who knows what happens, what's gonna happen there. Um, we got Execute, Grimer, Sneasel, Badoof, Electrobuzz, Dragon, and we got Electrovire Hollow Wear. So we didn't get too, we didn't actually didn't get anything besides the Rifle V from, um, from the sleep packs, but I didn't pick those, so <laughs> I guess technically it's still my luck because they did pick those. So we'll go on to opening these Pokeballs here. Here's the Pokeball tins from Sam's Club, and I, I don't know why, but I've seen people have been getting like different things from these balls actually. Like I thought it's it's just um, Evolving Skies, Sword and Shield base, and Lost Origins, I think. That's the one I got from last time I, I bought one of these. But I've seen people open these and they gotten um, Chilling Rain, actually. That would be pretty cool to get Chilling Rain. I don't think I'm going to get Chilling Rain in these, maybe. All right, let's see the big reveal. Okay, we got Evolving Skies, Lost Origins, and Sword and Shield. Okay, so this is what I thought was going to be in here. So I was right, I at least um, for my previous pool or previous openings. I got three Evolving Skies, three Lost Origins, and three Sword and Shield base set. Um, but like I said, I've seen people open these, and they actually gotten um, Brilliant Stars and Chilling Rain as well, and some other ones. So I mean, I think Evolving Skies is always, always gonna be in it. So uh, yeah, it was pretty cool. I mean, Lost Origins is kind of cool to open, and then I'm, I'm not sure how much I trust Evolving Skies for myself, but I'm still gonna open it either way. So uh, let's open up. Uh, Sword and Shield base set first. Um, the only card I remember that I I kind of really want from base Sword and Shield is the Marnie card. Even though Marnie is going out of rotation, oh, it's a green cold card. Never mind. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, like I said, even though Marnie's going out of rotation, um, it would be pretty pretty nice just to pull or not, yeah, pull her and get her card just so I have it in for the binder here. Um, nothing good there, so let's just keep opening Sword and Shield base sets. And I, I forgot what else is on here. Sword and Shield is kind of Sword and Shield base set was kind of weird. I think I don't even know if there's any alternate art cards in here. Um, so we got cold card there, and I hope I didn't ruin you guys's you can kind of preview something back there. We got Ponyard, Score Bunny, Nickets, Chincho. Oh wow, these cards are kind of like sticking together. Muna and Cramorant. I like Hyper Potion. That's also going out of rotation. Um, yeah, not the best pull so far, but like I said, I, I don't really trust myself getting these because um, when I was at Sam's Club, they still had a few, a couple, like maybe like, I don't know how many I can say, maybe like more than 20 left on the shelves, and I could never pick the right ones. I'm always bad. I'm always bad at picking these things sometimes, so we got Sobble, Blipbug, Pincherchin, Whitehorn, Messino, Clobopus, and a non hollow Raichu. So far, so bad. <laughs> but um, we still got some more packs to open. We, I have more faith in Lost Origins, though, so let's open Lost Origins next here. Um, I, I feel like I have better luck getting 
stuff from Target possibly or Target and Best Buy. Um, when I pick it up myself, though, not not uh, buying it online. But I don't know. I can't say for sure, honestly. It, it's it's all RNG, obviously, right? So we got a cold card there. We're gonna start off with Clefairy, Apom, Spinneret, Litwick, Roselia, a Thornton. Reverse Hollow and a non hollow Glide Score. Okay. So far, not so good. No hits from these Pokeball tins yet. Um, I mean, I more or less thought this was going to happen. Maybe I'll get like one or two, hopefully. I mean, that's, that's going to be my hope for now. I'm just going to get like one or two. Um, not saying I should get those, but we got... Electric, love this, Gligar, Wormpool, Rhyhorn, Swanna for the reverse hollow nope. spot, and a Dust Tox. Oh, even even Lost Origins is kind of betraying me right now. I mean, the last um, ETB opening I did for Lost Origins, that was, that was super good. So I didn't even did better than Brilliant Stars here. But Brilliant Stars is um, still pretty good as well. I don't, I'm not going to say it's bad or anything like that. So... Uh, let's just keep opening here for Lost Origins. Maybe because it knows this is for a Brilliant Stars opening, not for Lost Origins. So it doesn't want to take take the cake or take the show away from it. And yeah, we didn't get anything good from here. I'm really so, wow, even Lost Origins can not really give me anything from those three packs. Maybe... Let's open up a Dior on pack. Maybe Evolving Skies can save the day. Um, not saying I'm just going to pull an alternate art here, but... Um, you know, anything will be fine at this point. I'm, I don't care anymore. Uh, I, I mean, at the same time, I like opening packs. Let's just keep on, keep going here. We got Bagan. Oh, sorry, Bagan, Rubat, Temple, Psyduck, Eevee, Bodor, and we got a Lycan Rock V. Nice. Look at that. Okay, my first hit from these um, tins here. Even though I think I believe I actually have that already. So. Um, not really the hit I'm looking for, obviously. But it's a hit, so I'm just gonna put that there. And let's open up the next one here. Swablu! Look at that. Cool card there. Alright, so we got Swablu, Litleo, Chincho, Dano, Punkaboo, Hypno, and Appleton. I feel like I've seen this dude so many times while opening Evolving Skies. <laughs> I'm sure everyone has as well, since Evolving Skies is not really the best pack to open. And we got one more pack here. Um, let's see if I can pull anything else from here. If not, that's fine. I expected much. Okay. I did try to pull somewhere in the middle, and maybe that might have been a bad idea. Maybe I should have just picked like the one that was kind of out of place. You never know. Maybe that would have been the good luck. Eevee. Litleo, Temple, Tentacool. Can what can we get in the last spot here? Hmm. Nope. Profound. All right. <laughs> I I, I kind of left that uh hanging for a bit, but yeah, that's about my luck here. So from the Pokeball tins, it's probably like the worst one actually. We only got I like and lock V. Uh, maybe I should have bought a second one <laughs> to counteract it. Brilliant Stars definitely was a better showing here with the Rainbow. RCS V star here, and then we got a Raikou V from the four sleep packs. Uh, Gram Gramble V and the Dene Trainer Gallery and Zamazanta V. Um, if you like my pulls, um, please consider subscribing and liking this video. It would definitely help a lot. I'd be going somewhere somewhere this weekend, so um, stay tuned. There's gonna be a really cool video next, um, maybe next or next two or three videos. So we'll see about that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, um, and hope you guys got better pulls than me, so, um, yeah. Hope you have a nice day. See you guys. Catch you later. Also, if you liked my videos, just go see if you would like that video, or maybe that video. I got nothing. <laughs> Alright, see you guys. <laughs>